Well, hello there. This is Pastor Chris Vieira from United Baptist Church, Dover Foxcroft, Maine. I'm not in Dover today. I'm in uh, Eustis, Maine at a place called Cathedral Pines. And uh, what an amazing place. It's surrounded by these giant trees. And I'll just kind of give you a little perspective there. In a place like this, it's not hard to feel small. And uh, as I think about the example that Jesus set for us, he would often go away by himself uh, to talk to his father and to be alone with God. And, and I think uh, he would find the strength and the courage and the power uh, to do God's will in the world through that. And I think these are good examples for us because you know we find ourselves in a place that's noisy and crazy and uh, not always the best uh, influence on us. And I think for us to know that there is a God in charge of it all brings us back to where our true comfort lies and, and where our guidance comes from. So I hope uh, your time in prayer is happening, that you're not forgetting God, that uh, you don't turn to him unless things are wrong, you turn to him when things are right. And it keeps you tethered, uh, keeps you attached to the anchor that uh, the storm will not toss you to and fro. did want to share with you a verse speaking about Jesus praying. Uh, this is Hebrews 5, 7. And it says, when Jesus was here on earth, he offered prayers and pleadings with a loud cry and tears to the one who could rescue him from death. And God heard his prayers because of his deep reverence for God. Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things that he suffered. Did you hear that? He learned obedience from the things that he suffered. We're not meant to be rescued from every hard thing in this world. You're going to have a hard life. And you know what? Those hard things are gonna be the opportunities for you to be obedient, for you to uh, demonstrate the character of God. And, uh, and sometimes you're not always gonna make the right decisions and you're gonna have to get up again. One of the benefits, uh, the greatest benefit I think we have as uh, followers of Christ is that his blood has atoned for our sin. That means that even though I failed, even though I may have disappointed God, uh, he'll forgive me. If I turn to him and ask for him to forgive me uh, through his blood, uh, I'm forgiven once again. So I hope you're renewing your relationship with, with God as you discover that his will is always best. And, and uh, I hope your life is making progress because God is not out to destroy us. He's out to make us better. And, and as the scripture says, sometimes it's the suffering and the hard times that will demonstrate where we are in our relationship with him. So don't be afraid of hard times. Embrace them. Let them be a tool that God will use on your behalf. Um, another verse I wanted to share with you this morning is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 through 7. It says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Did you hear that? I got to read that again. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. God cares about you. And one of the hard things that we have is a lot of times we don't turn to him. We turn to the things of the world, right? We can find comfort, kind of find comfort in uh, 
uh, movies and music. We can find comfort in food, games, but the best place to find our comfort is in Him. He's in control. He is the one who is uh, watching over us. So it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Uh, humble yourselves. Don't think too highly of the things that this world is offering. Uh, be people who turn to God in your struggles. And uh, that is good advice. And I hope uh, your walk with God's going well. And know that uh, we're going to return to some normal see in the world and hopefully get back to enjoying fellowship with each other. But until then, uh, I pray that you take advantage of the fact that God is listening and he wants you to remember that he's there, that uh, that it's okay to be weak and it's okay to struggle. Uh, but the best way to respond is to turn to him. So turn to him this day. Uh, and I, I hope you have a good week. Hope you have a good summer. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.